exactly is driving those trends that you can see there at the Nairobi Securities Exchange? Of course, that exchange being what we term the well, the barometer of the entire economy. Things that are happening on the ground affect the buying and selling there. We, of course, want to start you off at Kenya Airways, which has today fired 140 employees from its technical department who have been staging a two-day go slow, pushing for higher pay. The national carrier issued the dismissal letters to the group on Wednesday evening after issuing three warning letters urging the employees to return to work. The striking engineers and technicians are a fraction of the over 600 employees in that department who make up the technical workforce. The ghost law started on Tuesday with the engineers failing to work on aircrafts in the Huggers for their repairs and maintenance, forcing Kenya Airways to let them go. The technical department had earlier in the year staged a strike which saw the airline's management increase salaries from the month of March. Kenya Airways claims that technical assistance salaries were increased from some 120,000 shillings to about 200,000 shillings, while production engineers saw their salaries increased to about 340,000. The same group had been pushing to have their salaries raised to 340,000 and 1.2 million shillings, respectively.